I'm outside the clubhouse of Marley Hill Bowling Green and on the week starting the 22nd of October somebody or some people broke into it. They didn't steal anything but they did try to burn it down. Fortunately the building is still structurally sound but inside it's an awful mess. This is the main room of the Bowling Green Clubhouse and it's not so much fire damage it's smoke damage as you can see uh, everything is just covered in smoke so all the photos on the wall all the certificates everything that's not of any financial value but certainly uh, documents and so on that remember all the achievements of the club have been ruined and what happened was that they somebody broke in and set fire to the rubber mats and that's the real cause of all the smoke well, we think the building is structurally sound it's the smoke damage which is the biggest concern and so much of what is in here uh, the furniture the pictures the certificates the kitchen it's the smoke damage to them which is uh, what's the most widespread of the problem that we have here in this building now but i look at it and i think why? Why would somebody actually want to do this? To break in and just set fire to the place? It, it's just completely mindless vandalism. And these were people, this was a club that was run by people who are no problem to anybody. They're getting on with life. Most of them are retired people just enjoying a bowl, a game of bowls and we have somebody, one or two, maybe maybe more people just breaking in and just destroying it for no reason at all. This is the kitchen and as you can see they've burnt out a drawer and the floor is covered in soot. Everything is covered in soot. And uh, what, whether any of this can be rescued is another matter. Uh, you can see, just everything's blackened. As one of the local councillors, I've been advising the club on its community asset transfer, and I've also come up here to do some publicity shots to encourage people, more people, to join the club. And the club is not going to be defeated by these mindless vandals. But we need your help. We need your help. If you know anything or have any suspicions, please get in touch with the police. Because this is the, actually the second time that they ha there's been a break-in here in the clubhouse. So if you've got any, any facts or any information that you can pass on to the police, please get in touch with them. Meanwhile, the bowling season will start again in the new year. And if you want to take part in the club activities and to have a go at bowling, if you've not already done it before, then get in touch with the club. They'll be delighted to hear from you.